Good evening, dear listeners. We are on Glorious Life Gospel Radio FM 90.0. By the power of the Lord, by His protection, by His healing power, we are able to be gathered on this frequency this evening to continue with our lessons on marriage. Marriage. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you this evening to say thank you for taking us through our activities of today. We are living in a very terrible moment in this land. We are living in a situation where people die randomly. We say thank you for every moment of our lives. We are alive at this moment simply because you said yes. We are on this frequency right now to continue with our lessons on marriage. Father, we pray for understanding. We pray for divine wisdom. Lead us. Guide our minds. Deliver marriages that are in trouble. Help your children that are about to get married. Help marriage counselors. We thank you because we know that through this edition, Father, you will continue what you are already doing in the lives of your people. Bless this frequency. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we glad say we don't be on Glorious Life Gospel Radio again this evening. And we thank Papa God. Say we continue with our lessons on marriage. Our subject now on problem solving in marriage. Problem solving... In marriage, we go to look at the Christian problem solving mechanism we find for applying for marriage so that we be able to solve problems where they occur for marriage. Some people they think say a successful marriage not the one way it be void of problems. They think say a successful marriage. Not the one way you no get problems at all. But that one is like a wrong view. A successful marriage, rather, not the one way you get the Christian problem solving mechanism. A successful marriage, not the one way you get the Christian problem solving mechanism. So that when problems come, they handle them. A healthy human being no be the one way you know the contact bacteria. Bacteria the day in the air, the day inside things the way they chop them, the day inside things the way our body they come in contact with. But which way they keep you healthy now your immune system? Where it they help you? It they fight bacteria and viruses when they come to attack your health. So long as you live in this world, breathe this air, chop, chop them, you must come in contact with these things. So for you for stay healthy, not say you get good immune system. So now you will the talk say a successful marriage no be the one way the things say no fee get problem. Problem must come. Now why that way would it teach today now about the Christian problem solving mechanism? Yes. I'd like to remind us of uh, our objectives of this lesson them on marriage. Would it teach this lesson them on marriage for proof say marriage when a physical union between man and woman na ye di reflect na ye di explain man ye spiritual union with God. Marriage na the only union in the physical world where God choose them. For deeply explain the relationship, the spiritual relationship with humans they get and with ye. With the teach on marriage for show how we sexuality, love, faithfulness in marriage, it de- explain how we get for love God and for worship God. By this lesson, then, with the teach say everybody get for be careful with marriage. Everybody get for be careful with marriage and the activities of marriage such as sexuality. We get for be very careful with them. 
Because a marriage being a thing we God choose and for reflect our union with Him, for explain how we love for God and worship the work, we get for be very careful with marriage and sexuality. Yes. By this lessons them, we they help young people the way they never married. May they locate the will of God, they marry them. May they make sure say they marry in the will of God. And by these lessons, we they help people the way they don't really marry. For rededicate their marriages in case they be married out of the will of God, may they be able for go back to the foundation of their marriage, go rework them, bring in God so that their marriages they go work well in honor of God and for bless the people involved. And by these lessons we they intercede for marriages they made they succeed. Since I went at something where God must be at the center, we they pray, may Papa God he help, make he give grace, make he strengthen people them. May they be able to get good foundations for their marriages and then put in all the godliness where it be necessary for their marriages they for succeed. We get key scriptures them on these uh, lessons on marriage. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 now the very first one. It reads say, Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But woe among us and adulterers God will judge. It talks a marriage na fine thing. We mean say God like him, more marry. Now you design. Na thing where it create him. So God like a more marry. God like a more get enjoyment inside marriage. And he talks in the bed undefiled. Where it means say God want to make sexuality, it take place within marriage. Because when it take place within marriage, it will bring honor to God and it teach us on how we're supposed to love God and worship Him. But people, the way that they abuse God's plan for marriage and sexuality, we Bible call them sin and warmongers and adulterers, Bible talks say God go judge them and punish them everlastingly. Yes, this Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, it talks say, but warmongers and adulterers, God will judge. Warmongers, they are people the way they they inside sexual perversion. They carry out sexual activities outside of marriage. We'll call them, say, fornication or adultery. And some people then, man picking, they marry man picking, woman marry woman. So one day they get sex with animals. You see, that one the Bible talks in a war mongering. And it talks say God go punish anybody where it be involved in war mongering. You see, we even talk so some people then. They talk say they've been a ministers of the gospel. Say because say they want to serve God, they no go marry. And then as they talk, say they no go marry, they go they commit kind kind sexual sin them. Where they be dragged to court every day, they be locked up, and so on. Bible say now now warmongers and that with adulterers and fornicators them. God go judge them, punish them. God never tell them say may they no marry. May they marry. God no go condemn them. God never give any standard say if you want for serve God, preach gospel, may you not marry. God no give that kind of standard. The apostles of Christ, they be married. Peter be married. The others be married. So, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. God like a more marry. Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 31 to 33 and another scripture when a key scripture on this lesson. It says, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery. But I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Our focus for here now say, as God be done plan me man and woman, they unite in marriage. Bible talk for verse 32 of Ephesians chapter 5 say, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Now you will run the talk say, 
this physical union of man and woman, it help everybody foresee the spiritual union between man and God. So marriage gate for be something will be conducted in the fear of God, in the will of God, in honor of God, because everything about marriage is the point to God the spiritual union with man, Christ and the church. The love way they exist between Christ and the church. The principles, the way they guide the union between Christ and the church, they be exhibited in marriage. So we get for take marriage very, very seriously, handle them carefully with biblical principles and uh, in honor of God. Okay. So we're going to look at the biblical problem solving mechanism. The biblical problem solving mechanism where we get for use and for marriage. Yes. As we don't first talk, some people they think say a successful marriage now the one way no get problems. But that one are wrong thinking. We even get some people the way when they go for conduct marriage vows during wedding. Where they be about for bless people them. May they go start live together. For pronounce the blessings of God on people. They go tell some people, say, will you accept each other for better, for better? Where their idea now say, they, they try for prophesy, say, now only good, 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 good things go to happen to those people. Say, they no go ever get problem. They no go ever get any challenge. We'll call that one, say, now, fanatism. Because who you think say you be, where you fit for tell people they say they no go ever get problem in their marriage. Which kind of prophet you think say you be, where you fit prophesy say people no go ever get problem in their marriage. Problems they go calm. When Adam and Eve be sin against God, God be tell Adam, say Adam, before you go chop and also feed the woman, you go sweat. God be tell woman, say before you born Pekin, grow that Pekin, it go be now in multiplied sorrow. We think say we love man past God. We think say we love couple they past God. When God be the talk so to Adam and Eve, he be tell them that the truth. Say now wait it that way when I go experience them as when I live on this planet. Where it be a temporal cursed place where they pass through. So at the talk on this note, based on the word of God, say if you be a married person, not live in that illusion. No live in that lie. Say you no go face problem. No leave false prophets. They made they feed your mind with bad prophecies. Then you go, you don't relax. Check say you no go face challenges. Or when you don't face challenge, you check say God no day again for that marriage. You just abandon your spouse, run. No. Bible no tell we say you no go face problem. If fine made they caution you. Say marriage na for better and now for times of trials and temptations, times of sickness, health, times of labor pains, times of labor, time where you demand you to go find things for can't feed your family. They get for tell you all of those things. They get for tell you, say you get for love your family sacrificially. Like how will Christ be loved the church, he die for the church. They get for tell you those aspects of marriage where they be challenging for fortify you. For, for, for warn you, for let you know where to where they come so that you trust in God, you depend on the grace of God for help you for overcome. Yes. So a successful marriage, not be the one way no get problem. Rather, a successful marriage, not the one way it get a godly problem solving mechanism so that when the problems they come, you'll be able to solve them. When the problems they come, you'll be able to handle them. Yes, as human beings, the way that they live on this planet, we be full of trouble. Them we be full of challenges, and as human beings, the way we still wait for our full redemption, we get for expect same misunderstandings the fit day in any relationship will get them. Even your relationship with God, when you run the Christian race, sometimes the day the way you get challenges, you get misunderstandings with your God as you run the Christian race. You see. If you did get challenges in your Christian race, then wait to be marriage. Will you not know get challenged there? So no say as with they on this planet, they run the race to heaven, misunderstanding them, you go face them inside your marriage. So 
that one is supposed for bring we to which side we will be very keen now to this lesson this evening as we teach on the godly or the biblical problem solving mechanism in marriage this mechanism go equip you so that any misunderstanding will come between you and your spouse when i go be able for handle them inside matthew chapter 18 from verse 15 jesus teach on a general christian problem solving mechanism i talk say general because it apply in our general lives as christians so when we go study this mechanism we go then take and apply them for marriage you go work perfectly more read them jesus be talk say moreover if thy brother shall trespass against thee go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone if he shall hear thee thou hast gained thy brother but if he will not hear thee then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established and if he shall neglect to hear them tell it unto the church but if he neglect to hear the church let him be unto thee as an hidden man and a publican verily i say unto you whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven the one now a general christian problem solving mechanism a general christian problem solving mechanism okay jesus be talk say if you get problem with your brother you get a misunderstanding with your brother the word brother for here they signify the fact say you and he will not be people of faith in god submission to god if we not get misunderstanding if we not get problem the first step now say meet up this your brother may you and he try for resolve the problem we not two only one or two me public no day day no announce the problem first of all meet up that your brother with the two of you be concerned me will not talk the thing over in the fear of god in the will of god using biblical principles will not talk the problem bible talks in at the first step that and if you succeed that your brother he admit the problem will not be able for identify the problem and will not kick him out oh bible say you don't win your brother joy it will be because reconciliation don't take place the devil don't be put to shame when a weakness is they don't be overcome then that time bible say you don't win your brother but Bible talks say in case you go meet up that your brother, you and you know be able for work things out, for resolve the problem between the two of una. Call one or two other people them, make they can join una, so that una feed them be three or four people. Una put now not only two minds together, but about three or four minds together. When I look into the problem, when when I look into the problem with more minds, and then when I be able for solve them in the fear of God and by biblical principles bring about reconciliation, Bible talks say, oh, that one go be good because reconciliation don't take place. You don't win your brother. But Bible talk again say, in case that second step no work, go to the third step bring in the church the church for here it referred to the body of christ it referred to people of faith it referred to the custodians of the word of god people the way they know godly principles of problem solving bring them in bring in the church if the church 
He used the law of God. The love of God. The fear of God. For solve the problem. And they succeed for reconcile you and your brother. Then that one. It be good. God be glorified. Because. Reconciliation don't take place. You don't win your brother. But Bible talks say. If that third step you know walk then you move to the fourth step when now for them consider that person say na a pagan na a publican na a pagan and a publican who be pagan in this case man where you know know ye god a publican na who sinner that means in a person where he like ungodly living na person where he like wrong things he no like unity. He no like peace. You see? So, if you take the first step for meet up your brother, you and you too, you know, go. Bring in two or three people then. We're not try to solve the problem. If you know, go. You go to the third step. You call in the church. If you know, walk. We're not then consider that person. Say, he be a pagan and a publican. We're not the last step. That, that means we're not going to give up. Okay, I go like for use this mechanism for rebuke Calvinism. I did talk so because some Calvinistic views they did away. If you use them in your marriage, they no go work. Wait to be the Calvinistic view. You are once saved, forever saved. Say no problem, no day will occur between you and God where you feel lost your salvation, where you feel lost your relationship with God. Now, Calvin is the belief say once God don't save you, whether you then do not wait, you and God go still day fine till eternity. If you carry that kind of idea, enter with them for your marriage. Say you are once married, forever married. Say no matter what way you do, or no matter what way your spouse do, you are once married, forever married. If you carry that kind of mentality before you know it, that marriage goes cut out. So, no ever treat your marriage like a Calvinist. No ever take things for granted. You see how Jesus be the teach say, when they solve problem reach for some level, if you no know, go, think they go scatter. <laughs> Jesus talk say, if they solve problem reach for some level, if you no know, go, they go consider some people say they don't know God, they go consider them like sinners. As we study on, you see how Apostle Paul be the talk say, made they hand people over to Satan. <laughs> you go see how Titus he talks to me they reject some people when the same Paul be right to Titus he talks to me they reject some people if they no fit for accept reconciliation yes if they don't use the godly problem solving mechanism at all he step them if reconciliation no take place may they consider the person where he be hardened say no no God and he be a sinner May they hang it over to Satan. Now the same way, way, if you be born again, you know avoid sin. When you don't sin as a child of God, God, it deprick your conscience. Your conscience will judge you. If you don't repent, God will cause people, they may they rebuke you. If you don't repent, God, he go do what you will call and say chastisement. He go chastise you, God allow something for happen. If it caused something for happen for you when a chastisement, you know still repent, God go bring judgment on you. That judgment for day night, if it be hell. Man, repeat something for here. No ever think, take God for granted. God did solve problem with you at stages. And as he did take the steps, the go. The earlier you change and reconcile, fine. But if you no change, if you no reconcile, there is an end to the rope. When you sin as a child of God, God will prick your conscience first. If God prick your conscience, you no repent. God go cause people they may they bring rebuke into your life. May they rebuke you well. If they rebuke you, you no change. God go chastise you <laughs> because He love you. And Bible said the people where God love them, He chastise them. God go chastise you. If he allows sickness, if he allows some trouble, make him knock you. When a chastisement, I need to do and so on and so that may you change. If he chastise you, you know repent. He go bring judgment on you. 
Yes. I took that one up for tell every married person where they listen to this godly problem solving mechanism this evening for say when you get a problem in your marriage be very quick say any opportunity where god give you for solve the problem quickly solve them bible talks say no even allow them may the son is set on your anger or on problems the way you get them do your best that admonition i say do your best say any opportunity where god give you for solve problem solve them no be that kind of bad spousing with the like for sustained problem that is high up. It may be that your master don't sin against you, woman. It did come before for your foot, say may you forgive you. You then begin to high up. Or it may be that your woman, he don't sin against you. Then it can be beg you for forgiveness. Say may we not solve the problem. Eh? You see how some married people that they high up, that they high up. So one them, when they cause problem, that they want to make the instead come beg them. Let me say, person. It caused problem against his spouse. They need the one to make the candy Becky. <laughs> you hear some married people, they say, Ha, huh? me go she don't. Who the Beck married? Say, I know the man. Say, I don't weigh the man. Say, I don't hold it for my hand. Say, whether I do it, he must come the cry from my back. He must come the beg me. <laughs> I don't hear married people that they, they talk that kind of thing. Then. Now, if you get that kind of pride inside marriage, you think your own. Say, you're not supposed to be humble for solve problems. Begin to sustain that problems. A day go come where you go find possibility for solve problem again. You know, Sam. You go come to the end of the rope. <laughs> but my prayer tonight through this lesson. Now say God go give you a humble heart. Where when problem day, you go be the first person for try for find peace. You go be a peacemaker because the Bible say, Blessed are the peacemakers. Yes. Blessed are the peacemakers. You see, more directly apply this problem-solving mechanism to marriage. The first step be be sweaty. If your brother sin against you, no publicize the problem. Go meet up that your brother, you and you too. Now the first step that. We directly talk to married people. They say, if you and your spouse get a problem, no publicize the problem. May you and you should don't down when a two when I solve the problem. May that problem we happen between Wuna make you no go to the third ear. May Wuna she don't down when a two when I solve the problem. If Wuna try and between the two of Wuna in no go. If Wuna try and between the two of Wuna in no go. Now for day we Wuna feed them to move forward. But the best stage for marriage problems for be solved. Now between the two people, make the shidong down. And when they shidong down for solve the problem, some principles a day where they're supposed for apply them. One, make they consider the rights of one another. When we not shidong down as two people for solve problem, may one man not talk say, na me I be man for the house. Na me I be the head of this house. Now you woman, you must debug me. Even when I be wrong, you the woman you get for the fall for my food. <laughs> no do so. That kind of pride no support for day inside marriage. Yes, you be man picking. But no means say because you be man picking, you be leader for, for family, you don't be na a, a, a God where you know if you make mistake. Or say you know if you hurt your spouse. You know say, some dirty idea day, where they talk say leaders and they ever make mistake. Now, dirty idea where even politicians they work with them. You see, politicians they make mistakes, make dirty statements, the way they break country apart, they cause people they die, die. But they think say leaders can never make mistakes. Say they're not supposed to ever apologize. They take that kind of pride. Now, you did destroy people. In fact, God go judge and punish them if they don't repent. You see, with the teaching lesson, they make even politicians they listen up. That kind of bad, bad, satanic idea. Say leader need to make mistake. Or say leader need to apologize. That is a satanic idea that destroys people. It can never build a country. If you make bad statement, where it ignite anger in people, they cause waste of lives. Repent. Leaders can come out and say, I'm sorry. Leaders can come out and say, I made a mistake in that statement. I apologize, my people. May peace be. 
Now, in marriage, the fact say you be a leader, it no means say you start begin to jig your shoulders, the claims on right. Say you no fit apologize when you make a mistake. The fact say you be a beautiful woman, it no means say you start begin to talk say the mango they die behind me because I be beautiful. Say I no fit humble, I no fit talk sorry. No, in marriage, in solving your problems, you have to respect each other's right. That person where you don't hurt it. Now a human being like you. Respect the right. And in a Christian context, that person where you marry them, you both are human beings. When I get blood, when I get water, when I get heart, when I get emotions, when I get intellect, when I give a respect the rights of one another. And they talk again, say, in a Christian context, when I give for respect, the fact say, when I both be a Christians, Jesus died for both of Una. Jesus, his blood, he be shed for both of Una. Jesus poured out the Holy Ghost on both of Una. We go see more as we go, we go read scriptures the way they go clarify on these things. In solving problems between the two of Una as a couple, when I give for consider the biblical contract terms the way Una be accept. When we will not be agree upon before we will not be get married. When I be one married, so will not be agree on terms. Yes. You, the man, you be don't tell that woman, say, you go love you, you go protect you, like how Christ, he be loved the church and he died for the church. You be promised that woman so. And that woman too be promised you, say, he go submit to you. When I be agree on the biblical contract terms. When we want to solve problem, May when I begin to consider what the way when I be agree. May when I not behave like politician the way that they make constitution turn break them. May when I not behave like politician the way that they agree on something, then go now go cancel them, then they do not the one way go the benefit na one party. May when I not do so. The thing where when I be agree upon before when I get into the marriage, may when I begin to live by. When when I want to solve problem, when I ask when I self say, Wait till we be agree upon. We we'll don't agree, say, we we'll go put our money together. Use them together. We we'll don't agree, say, we we'll not go deny uh, uh, sexual satisfaction for one another. We we'll don't agree, say, me man picking. I go love and protect you in everything. Oh, we we'll don't agree, say, you my wife. You go submit to me. You not go do something with me and not approve them. We we'll don't agree, say, we we'll no go cheat on each other. We we'll don't agree, say. We we'll no go bring in another woman. Or we we'll no go bring in another man. We we'll not get for respect way to way. We we'll not be agree upon before we we'll not be go in. Yes. Another thing for consider and when we we'll not solve problems between the two of one and I say. We we'll not get for consider the fact say we we'll not go account to God about that marriage. No judge around your marriage, think your own say. Whether what it happen, there is nobody who will demand account. No judge think say that marriage end up between Guna. God where he institute marriage, he go call you that man to account. You that woman in the marriage, the God where he designed marriage, he go call you to account. So when Guna she don't down, when a problem day, when Guna want solve him, may Guna the solve him quick quick. Because when I go account to God, how when I run that marriage? Yes. When I go account to God. We not say we they live in a society where some people them, they, they account about their marriages now to their friends. <laughs> and to their papa them and mama them. You see a girl, when he don't hurt the massa, he run go talk for him mommy. So that may mommy join him and they come coach the man. Or you see man picking when he maltreat the woman. He run go tell you, 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 you parents. So that many parents, they come join you from press down, marginalize the woman. <laughs> May when I look out, God for heaven, pass your parents, pass your friends. When I go account to God, how when I handle that marriage. So when, when I shut down for solve problem, may when I begin to take into consideration the fact say, when I go account to God about that marriage. Now, for this thing, the word don't talk. Man read some scriptures. Where they go highlight the fact say when I get for try for solve the problem between the two of Una. So when I get for sit down as a couple. Two, 
Wuna give for consider the rights of one another because wuna be na human beings. All of wuna. Three, wuna give for consider the biblical contract terms of marriage. We wuna be agree upon. Four, wuna give for take into consideration the fact say wuna be both children of God. Wuna go account to God about how wuna run that marriage. Okay, my read Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 21. It says, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be subject to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, Love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot nor wrinkles or any such thing, but that it should be holy without blemish. So ought men to love their wives, as their own bodies, he that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord, the church. We are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. Wait till we see for here. We see inside verse 21 of this Ephesians 5 70. Submitting yourselves one to another. You know, say, whenever we talk about submission, men be quick for talk, say, may woman submit. But, you give for considered, say, a level day the way, where you submit yourselves one to another. Like, I don't talk, you the man. Not look the woman like something where you know if he ever tell you, say, sorry. As God-fearing people, no copy the dirty way politician that they do them. Where they feel say leaders, they never ever talk sorry. Say leader, they never ever be wrong. No copy that kind of dirty thing. If you practice them for your marriage, you go destroy them. I don't talk say with they inside problems so because politicians, they need to talk sorry. No copy that kind of fashion can go practice them inside your marriage. Submit yourselves one to another. Yes. When we look at verse 28, it talks say, so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Yes. Man Peking, love your wife like your own body. The idea for here be say, when the two people in marriage, they don't become one flesh, they start begin to treat each other with a lot of respect because when I don't be one flesh, you know if it don't hurt your own self. You see? You know if it hurt your own self. So not do them to your spouse. Because your spouse don't be in a part of you. Wanna be integrated in that marriage. Wanna be integrated. As you know if you hurt yourself, so must you not hurt your spouse. Yes, you get for see yourselves as integrated. Now the point that the Bible talk about one flesh here. You know, one flesh. We're quoting from Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. This is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. You see? Now the idea that when I be integrated, you're not supposed to hurt the other. Okay. May we read uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 from verse 7. It says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heads together of the grace of life, that your prayer be not hindered. 
Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. The key word one more taken for here and I say, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, as being heads together of the grace of life. That means say you need give honor to your wife because you and the woman, when it comes to when a right to salvation, when I get equal rights. When when I stand before God, as far as salvation be concerned, when I get equal rights. So when I give for treat each other as heads of salvation. As I be done first talk, when Jesus be the go to Calvary, he no be go shed give blood now only for men. Leave out women. Jesus no be doing as so. He be shed ye blood for the redemption of both men and women. So when you live with your husband or wife, begin to respect thee. Because Jesus, he buy both of you with a great price. So, respect one another. When we get problems, she don't down for solve them. We respect one another. So that may solution come quickly. We want to consider the fact that we be children of God. When Jesus be poured out the Holy Spirit, he talk in Joel chapter 2 from verse 27 and 28, 70. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. So the Holy Ghost is given to both men and women. Why? God treasures men and women. You are both heads of salvation. We want to shut down for solve problem. Respect each other as heads of salvation. Now, we'll be still dead now at the first step of the problem solving mechanism. When I say, wait, may the couple shut down, down, the two of them solve the problem. And we talk, say, when they shut down for solve the problem, may they respect each other. They don't be integrated in the union. The Bible talks, say, bone of your bones, flesh of your flesh. We not be integrated. So, we not solve problems with respect for each other. Yes. Your rights as human beings and your rights as children of God. Respect those rights. No oppress one another. Not look down on one another. Treat each other with respect. If nothing where you get for talk, say sorry. Talk, say sorry. Whether you be man or you be woman. Admit you're wrong. Apologize. Yes. Okay. We move now to the next step. In case you no know fit solve problem with your spouse, the two of una una no fit solve the problem at that first stage. Una get for go to the second stage. When I say wait, una call in two or three people. They make they can help una for solve the problem. Now so, but you get for be very careful. Now Jesus talks say if the two of una no fit solve the problem, me una invite third party. So that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, may a case it be established. Now Jesus talk, it correct for bring in third party. Now the second step that for the Christian problem solving mechanism. But you get for be very careful. My read some scriptures. Where did he guide the manner in which would bring people? Because no be any kind of people you bring them in. You're not supposed to go carry your friend. If you be woman, you are your master, they problem. No go carry your friend or your colleague. Will it be prone for favor you? Bring and say, make I can help when I solve problem. No go carry your family member them. Because then your family member that you bring her in. Like they will come begin the favor on you. They know they solve the problem. They will aggravate the problem because they will come in with the tendency for favor you. So, we want to give some principles them. Where they guide on who you bring them in. Okay. More read Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. The first two scriptures, the way I did read them. Now, first of all, for proof, the fact say, God, he accepts him and you bring in other parties. Okay. Proverbs eleven fourteen. he say, Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. We mean, say, if you try for work, you, you want, or you and your spouse, you know, go. Bring in multitude of counselors. Proverbs 24 verse 6, it talks, say, For by the wise counsel, thou shalt make thy war, and in 
multitude of counselors, there is safety. When men say, if things they not work between the two of Una, there is a God prescribed step where Una fit for take them, where for bring in counselors. Okay, who be the kind of counselor where you get for bring them in? Listen to Psalms chapter 1, verse 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, no standeth in the way of sinners, no seated in the seat of the scornful. When you want to bring in counselors, take note. Bible says you go be blessed if you no take the counsel of ungodly people. No bring in ungodly people them. No bring in sinners for can solve problem between you and your spouse. You go be blessed if you no go take counsel from ungodly people. If you take counsel from ungodly people, they go scatter the marriage instead. <laughs> and he talk now so, and no woman, we don't go bring your friend, say me can solve problem between you and your husband. That your friend when a woman come instead take the husband. <laughs> no take counsel from the ungodly. I equally no man picking, we go take your friend. Man picking, say me he can solve problem between you and your woman. The man picking come instead can push that man for corner, then start sleep with the man woman, with the friendly woman. <laughs> May we be careful. Not take counsel from ungodly people. Not take counsel from sinners. Not take counsel from people where they go mock you. <laughs> May we hear what we first Corinthians chapter uh, 15, verse 33, it talk. It said, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. <laughs> your figo bring in some man say, make it can help you solve your marital problem. He can't chakara the marriage again. <laughs> now, why the would the talk say, if you are looking for a marriage counselor, be wise. No be anybody will call yourself prophet. No be any man will just tell you, say this so. It be apostle. It be so, so and so. You just go carry a marriage. Go and say make it conductor. Say make it solve problem between you. It goes scatter them. We no means treat them. Inside the town where they get their member then by putting strong head inside my woman so that may can be prayer warrior for church. So that may can put in support for church. It ruin people their marriage so that may church grow. The Bible say evil communication will corrupt good manners. Yes. If you get problem inside your marriage Mind the kind of people where you hang around with, where you bring an inmate that can help you for solve the problem. Not everybody is qualified. So we they talk for here and say, wait, you get for bring in godly people. Bring in godly people for can help you and your spouse for solve the problem. No bring in bad people. Okay. If you bring in two or three people, then when at the second step. And the problem between you and your spouse, it be handled in a godly way. Oh, Jesus talks say, reconciliation go be, joy go be, God go be honored. But in case that second step no work, Bible say, bring the church. We mean say you bring now more people, the Christian community. And the question be say, why you they bring in at the Christian community? You will bring in the Christian community because they go use na the law of God. And we talk again, say be careful because no be everybody. We call yourself church, be church. We read Colossians chapter 3 verse 16. It talks, say, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, in hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. The church community na people, the way the word of Christ, it dwell in them richly. That they teach and that they admonish one another in psalms, in hymns, and spiritual songs. You know, when men say the Christian community, now people, the way they be rich in the word of God, they fit for give you godly counsel. So bring in the church at the third step of problem solving. The church go help. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 talks say, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Paul be tell Timothy because 
a lot of false doctrine and problems every day in the church at Ephesus where Timothy be dead. Day. The problem began for be solved if Timothy he go study the word of God very well and then he know how for rightly divide them. Then he will be able to solve the problems of false doctrine and the problem the way they occur in the church. Now, if a church he master the word of God, he get the spirit of God, get divine wisdom, be spirit led. That church it will rightly divide the word of truth for solve marital problems. So you bring in the church at the third step of problem solving. Now, Bible talks say if that person where he did do wrong, where they act against that marriage, if the person he hear the church, he submit the problem be solved, oh, it be very good. Reconciliation go take place. Papa God go be glorified. Unity go be. Peace go be. Marriage go run fine. Yes. If he hear the church. But in case say he no hear the church, that one at the last stage. You don't come to the end of the rope. Bible talks say, let him be unto thee as an hidden and a publican. No say you don't be married to a bad person. <laughs> Somebody go say, Pastor, you did talk so. No be pastor talk. Now Jesus talks say when the church struggle over something, you no know, walk. No say that person, a bad person. Now why that way no fi hear church? No be got to picking. Yes. Now hidden. He no know God. Now publican. Now sinner. How your spouse go shit on with you? You and you too. May wanna solve problem. He no work. He call in two or three other people. When a godly people. He no work. He bring the problem to the church. The church work on top. The problem no be solved. You always strong heart. You won't continue to live in sin. And maybe you did cheat on your wife or you did cheat on your husband. And maybe you did mismanage family funds. And maybe you know to be accountable of your time. And maybe anger they rule you. And maybe you did assault your spouse. And maybe you did abuse picking them. And maybe you did run the marriage in ungodliness. Your spouse, he call you. Say me, you and you should run down, solve them. You know one greed. They bring in two or three godly people. You know one greed. The church come in. You know one greed. You want me to treat you as weighty? Who you think say you be? Where you no one hear God. You no one hear advice. Where do you think say you be? That person where you marry them. You think say na stone. You just say you do what you do and so you nearly hurt it. You stop on inside sin. You did hurt your spouse. Destroy marriage. They talk you know the year. Bible say if church don't work, work, work. If you no go, may they consider you say you don't know God. You be sinner. Yes. You be sinner. I'm not telling you something. At that level, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Even divorce can happen. And you no go blame some man. You no go talk that kind of bad doctrine where they talk say, once married, forever married. Whether you do how, even if you go to sleep, sleep sexually outside. Eh? You are once married, forever married. Now bad doctrine that any preacher will talk say. Adultery, sexual sin outside of marriage is not a ground for divorce. That preacher, the son of Satan, he no day out for help marriages. He gets skeletons in the cupboard. He says, he be guilty of something. He did hide something. Yes. By this problem solving mechanism, will he tell everybody where you married? Say you are not married to a stick. You are not married to a stone. When there is a problem, humble yourself. Solve the problem. Accept your mistake. Let there be reconciliation. For marriage, for continue. That person where you married them, Jesus died for ye. Now blood the worker inside his skin. Now water to the worker. He get emotions. He to get life for live him. He get account to give to God. No begin to treat human being like say he been a witty. Humble yourself. Admit your fault. May problem be solved. Yes. Because if you don't humble for the problem to be solved, I'm telling you there is an end to the rope. Who says it? God. When God go arise, that woman where you marginalize some, oppress some, God will snatch her out of your hand. God will punish you. If you be a woman, your husband, the worker, beg you. Say me you and you solve problem. You will high up because you get big buttocks. Because your market is sell. You will worker, show say you get shape. You be beautiful. Men, they ask you out. You will high up. You know feel humble yourself. Under your, your, your husband, may you and you solve problem. And the talk say, 
when the problem go reach a level there's an end to the rope when you go reach there god go punish you god go punish you no take and like say the man don't be in some kind of thing so by this problem solving mechanism we are encouraging people solve marital problems beginning between the two of you if you cannot go bring in two or three other godly people if you cannot go bring in the church and we pray say when the church come in may the problem be solved may the problem be solved we will not say other steps a day like carrying problem to the government or carrying problems to the family or to traditional authorities but my tell government and I tell traditional authorities. Say Bible no talks anymore. First they bring a problem for wuna. The God will create we. The God will save we. He no talks say we will get problem more first they carry and they bring them for wuna. Yes. He talks say we will get a problem more first solve them based on the word of God. More no first they bring them for wuna government because wuna no even know. We even the sorry wuna save. Government you go for social affairs, go for court. Now liars they did they will lawyer them. You see how a man commit crime against his spouse. Go pay lawyer. They can't the lie, lie, lie. You go for, for traditional authorities. They mix things up, mix things up. But with talk say many people be God-fearing. If you really want to run a successful marriage, be God-fearing. Solve your problems by biblical principles. Solve your problems in the fear of God, considering how God he wants you to treat your spouse. Yes, solve your problem at that level. And if at all, the problem gave for rich court or for rich traditional authorities. We we'll pray, may God lead people the day for government, where they will be able for look at things the way we God want and made the day. If at all, marital problems they give for rich for traditional authorities, we we'll pray. Say may traditional authorities they repent, may they become children of God, may they know the will of God, so that if marital problems they come for them. May they not just talk say tradition, talk say, may they bring in the word of God. Because no be tradition create marriage. No be government create marriage. Now God create marriage. And the Bible, it revealed to us the mind of God, the will of God, holiness principles, problem solving principles on how for help people they may they live together. Yes. Yes. So government, no God. No God. Me when I no get some when I kinda law the way they they talk say na only woman fit commit sexual sin. Say if man picking be caught in adultery, he no be guilty. Some kind of wrong wrong law the way they favor some people them, then oppress someone, they marginalize someone them. We get some tradition the way with the tradition they depress women. <laughs> in fact, time no they might not over get it to this sick them. You go for some villages. You see the way they retreat women. Women just dead as some property. <laughs> Way part they even don't take and say pay their debt day. They don't care whether you love the man or you don't love the man. Go say to that debt. Go dead. <laughs> when the talk say, make the traditional authorities, may they repent. God pass Oguna. God passed government, passed traditional authorities. The Bible, it gives us the mechanism and the principles on how to solve problems. And with the term married people, build your marriage on the Bible. Build your marriage on God. Yes. And you go succeed. You go finally where you go stand before God to account about that marriage. You go account well. And you go enter heaven. No, you hear Peter be talk say, if man picking not dwell with woman wisely, when me I believe say, na vice versa. If the two people not treat themselves well, their prayer will be hindered. Yes. I talk say if you know run your marriage well, you go go hell. So with the talk say wait, whether you be who? Government, traditional authorities, and the people involved in marriage. Now God create marriage. May we all know the will of God, fear God, solve problems in marriage based on biblical problem solving mechanism and biblical principles of problem solving will you open our telephone line now so that if you get any contribution for make them or any question for ask them you go ask them and by the grace of god we go give you answer this evening we go hell up that married make you walk fine may that woman smile may that man smile may wanna love be revamped may wanna grow more as children of god wanna worship god run the race make heaven may wanna begin them be blessed Yes. The two telephone number them. The first one is 677 43 
Three one. Another telephone number, the second one. Now six nine one zero one eight eight six three six nine one zero one eight eight six three. Marriage is the day at stake. Plenty picking the day today that is suffer. People the day they be heartbroken. Women, they will be frustrated. The society, it, it, it be bad because of marriages, the way they need to work well. With telephone line, they be open. You fit for text and you fit for call. Any question where you get them, you ask them. And we go answer you by the grace of God. Ma, take Evangelist Tandy. Evangelist yeah, Tandy, welcome. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Pastor. Good evening. Thank you, Evangelist. One grace. Thank you, sir. In fact, your programs are very, very interesting. We thank God. And then tonight, you don't bring in an element where I'd like to comment on. You know, all, up to yesterday, we did for this program. Yes. I believe you understand the, this, so some people, them, church people, them, they, they rebuke others, say, why they divorce their wives? So even, if though, even though Jesus does say, man should divorce your wife, not only when to be a case of fornication or adultery. Uh, you you get for love your wife, even forgive him, even when you catch him for fornication or for adultery, all that kind of thing. But you don't bring in an element to the way I see him, so you be correct. Now, but uh, some brothers meet me from here, from down here. I'm going to have you come, but you tell me, see, there are servants of God who are suffering in silence. That was the statement that came from his mouth. You see, there are servants of God that are suffering in silence. Well, I don't know why we made that statement. But I think they say, it's funny, it'd be really funny. See, this very person will be telling me this story. He come, they accuse some other person for me, say, you don't divorce your wife. And you know one for listening to the person because, according to you, you don't divorce your wife. And that will just make man not divorce your woman. Now, but... Another element I say you don't bring her in this evening will be very, very pertinent. And I say, when a problem occurs for inside a home, that problem needs to be resolved. Yes. And when you don't take these various measures, or various steps as the Bible lay out, mm -hmm. you first contact a brother to see if that problem will be resolved. Yes. If it not be resolved, you call about two or three other brothers then. When I try to see if that problem will be resolved, if it not be still be resolved, when I take them before the church. Yes. And I think there's some people that don't go to this extent, don't exhaust all these measures then. And then even after that, the problem still stands. In that particular case, I don't know whether those preachers who say who want to be more holy than God, whether the ones who made that person still remain in that bondage. And the funny thing they said, these things are happening in some homes. Some of these uh, uh, super preachers, they know. They know very well. Mm -hmm. Say so that sister, that brother is going under, is under fire. They know, but they're only waiting for the moment that a man and a woman will separate and they start telling sorry stories. Yes. They start being blamed the brother, start being blamed the sister. Yes. You see, I want to grow. Yes. I think this program so you to bring her up, it will make people they need to get sense. Yes. Problem is the date inside marriage, even for homes of believers. Mm -hmm. And from what we talked yesterday, yeah, on the front say, any problem that come between deliver husband and wife, it will be because one party don't begin to turn the ear to the world. Yes. Instead of looking at the word of God, it yes. is take advice from the world. You imagine a person where they marry with the people that marry for the, the different inside church. Mm -hmm. One person come go for a different church. In the fellowship for a different church. The other person not follow you for this. Okay, he don't try to resolve problem for a house in a worker. And he make a come over for a different church. Mm -hmm. I mean, the people in that church, the leaders in that church, the pastors, they should down, down. I don't know what they really think. I don't know where they be. They know see they be bring them into ministry now for resolve such problems or for being, for take care of the souls of believers there. 
But they should not them like how you know how something no concern them, no? They mm. should not them. Yes. You see, they think I want to talk say those who they sharp move for talk. Make problem when you don't see some man, make you see you. Then we'll see how you will handle them. Yes. Before we we'll know say that way it also you, you, you talk with sense. I thank God for the thing the way they talk. Because if any man put ear for the thing the way they talk, many problems will be resolved. No, we believe believers, believers forever. Yes. We will not believe today, tomorrow, or with disbelief. Mm -hmm. I will come back again, but for now, let's make an entry here. Okay, sir. God bless you for the contribution. Okay. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Thank you. Okay, I have been touched by the program, and as you see, which way the drum now to my deliverance? Amen. 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 No, not in the Oliver Carrick for them. Interest, nonsense, say to prophesy. This man was not meant to, this man was an all, an all, whatever thing they talk. For push for the way the forward down to your deliver. They deliver when they come to your soul. Any man we get the spirit of God in me, we get the fruit of the spirit in me. I no say they sit with the swarm now, it is a walk inside a system. Amen. Like, and have a daily deliver. Amen. They go, go come out. Amen. Because we don't choose to talk so. We don't address issues about our African tradition and the way we the way the with the criminal treat women. Yes. And no in case we some parents take the woman, they beat it open and say pongin, go pleasure or someone take money. Then the the man born to him for the woman says, They can take and back the man in they say na the game. But that money way the man will take and say it don't game. You see ignorance we, everywhere. See some man is just on Christ, you see good prison. It is human, yes, man, see the man, see the man, see the man, see the man. It is the woman to surround the property, the way that you have got to say, the companion. Yes. It comes from the part of our own body. Yes. And you have got to say, the partner, the companion, the helper. But it is just, just to, you might treat the woman. And now, now that we see many things they do wrong in our society, because of the maltreatment, we people that the maltreat women and make social life with legal fiction. Mm -hmm. Go now to Western world, the wrong just one is in a contract. I would that would have got big if for Adam like under contract. <laughs> they, the contract marriage, and they are very proud of that rubbish and so poor they say they look and they see working life as a life of copy and they are good things to see working life and they are bad things to copy from there. Yes. Because yes. Maybe it does the woman say under contract. Contract how? Is that the will of God? God said to let put put you apart. Now you go say contract. Now uh, we say all that kind of evil to come out. What you talk and good into it? Is it clear? If person don't be fall in some matter, we don't do accident. We know she don't fall. You get for we call clean as if they're not in your ground. Yes. We know for what are the both saved something because. So, so no says they were the same. If we were in the way, so man don't really go for a car, they say, I have a woman. Or so woman don't really go, she drop a senior car, they say, what type of car? Because they buy the water, man, but you see, you see, you have a bit on the, on the top. Mm. But I want to say, any person who is called is said a child of God. Me, this, me, this, very careful. Yes. That's what I say, say, uh, marriage. And I want to ask you a question, Pastor. You the talk says God say they forgive the response. Then say if woman not come from I go stay with a man today, carry she come with the restore in a house. But sometimes people come over carry me there, go carry she can the pay restore in a house. So I will see come back. I want me to bring this thing for a real year. Thank you. Restoration, restoration. Because on time, because on cap do it, the little passion. Yes. Uh Okay, some callers are the one for come. My touch wait away, our brother Ennis. He don't talk. Okay, thank you callers for understanding. I will be very fast so that I will take on a course. Anyway, my just take advantage of default. Hello, sir. Good evening, Pastor. You'll be welcome, sir. Thank you very much. You know, in marriage, there must be understanding between the partners. Yes. And if understanding no the the marriage of a worker because we didn't even see twins where they did for inside belay for nine months when they come out their fashion they'll be different. Not true. 
not to talk of somebody where you go married from a different family or at times a family tribe. You see, so there must be understanding. Mm. And when understanding the yes, the marriage will work fine. Mm. Then one thing when we misunderstanding in house because they used to talk say na roof they cover all houses. Meaning say clean the floor and the PB. You get for God now for a godly person. Yes. When you understand marriage. Yes. And I I know if you get me somebody take a you know yeah, you go for some the person where he takes in a man of God. Mm. But what did it happen? The wife go, tell me the wrong judge, he judge, he judge, he kill judge, and finally he tell the woman say, but you are beautiful to be married to this man. Hey. And and before long, what did it happen? The woman, he come out for the man in the house, can't begin stay with that person. And before, I mean, before long, the woman, the man, the person was a woman anyway, but he became pregnant, so that was the end of the wedding, of the marriage. So, with that kind of thing, then, so when we are there together, when I first get to solve the problem, and there, as a godly marriage, when I, when I get for, for looking at a person, when you really understand what you want to talk. Because there is nothing like a perfect husband or a perfect wife. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a perfect wife, or if you want to get a perfect husband, you must be a Yes. Same too as if you want to get a perfect uh, wife, you must be a perfect husband. And you will find a perfect wife in the person where you get married to. You see, so when you take your problems from neighbors and friends and relatives, you don't know what they are looking at you, how they are looking at you. If you get problems, this word, sorry, now most of the, in the, in the way where they always solve, they the problems. Yes. But some people then, it's hard for them for to say, I am sorry. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you see say you be wrong, you only start to shout, shout at the other person. That is not a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. and so the, 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 the thing we when I get for Duna, when I understand ourselves, and when we understand ourselves, if there is if they come a problem where we don't feel someone when I do, when I make sure say the counsel away when I go the na somebody to way understand marriage. Even not so, you not take time, you will go scatter the marriage and scatter. Them. So. Thank you. Thank you very much, Evangelist. Hello, Elder Kenneth. Good evening, sir. Thank you, Edda. Tell me that evangelist if I were the contribution we here now, so. It is here, you. Yes, a fine contribution. Amen. I just want to beg everybody where they listen to this, your teaching, since it's three days today. Any man where you want to contribute, make you contribute something where you go help, because this topic where the whole and so. A fine topic, you know. Church they begin for whom? Mm -hmm. You know, yes. who they talk about church, about society, about region, nation, Africa. They stand up home. Mm -hmm. So if we not build our home, no feed build city, neither region or nation. Mm -hmm. Not talking about Africa and the world. You know. Yes. So it is a very important topic where at the interest of the pray, pray to God, say God help, help make the program make it be in our month. Hmm. Because as you say, plenty house it is smell. Hmm. It is you say some people they just begin the it is you see tomorrow so in the dress, they like engine, go for house. In the bond like like like, like, like bomb. Hmm. So I want to say in my way they contribute or where they call, maybe no joke with this program because this topic will be very, very important. Mm -hmm. Then I want to give some questions. Okay. Number one, I don't want to give about it, uh, but because of time, I give only one. Mm -hmm. Can somebody recommend somebody for marriage? Maybe you see some girl. You see the girl say fine, or in fact, in fact, he recommend them for your brother say, if I could go marry that person. Or the only person where they marry, and I get for two by say, thank you. Okay. Good question. Before I go back for brother NSC on, I think I just answer Elder Kennedy on. Yes, you fit for recommend somebody for somebody. That one be okay. But it be wrong for choose somebody for somebody. You fit for tell somebody about somebody. Somebody fit the way get some qualities, the way they be very good. Then you tell maybe your son or your member for church say, look at those good qualities in that person. Observe them. That one be very okay. But for make a choice for somebody, it be wrong. 
Hello? Hello, Pastor. Good evening. Thank you. Yes, my brother Elvis. You be welcome, brother Elvis. Yes, I want to talk to you. If you be a servant of God, you marry a woman, you can wake up talk to you and not love you again. What do you do? And you start doing things that. That means say, time where you don't enter house, it change. More consider and say, well, all the steps them, where they be supposed for lead to marriage, they be be in place. Then the person get into marriage now, then change. That one not a problem. The person is supposed for repent. The person is supposed for repent because you are not supposed for change. When you enter marriage, you commit yourself for cooperate, for work by the terms that we will not be agree. If we will not be Christians, especially, you get for live in honor of God. You get for fulfill God's divine standard for marriage. You know, if marry then enter inside marriage, you change. That one is a problem. So we will talk to make that problem be solved through this uh, problem solving mechanism. We will not teach them this evening. Hello? Hello? Good evening and welcome. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Irene from Rendezvous. Irene from Rendezvous. You be welcome, sis. I want to make you a program. The program is very interesting and interesting. Thank you. Thank you. The program is very interesting to a lot. Amen. So, I have the relationship. So, it won't help me. The most I'm only focusing before I go into my own time. Okay. Okay. God bless you, Sister Irene. Okay, ma go back to our brother Ernest. If the talk say some problems they did, some some cracks they did away for arrange them. He he did hard. Not true. Now why that way he no fine for allow some problems him with the reason level. If person they come out for marriage, so they go born picking them. Wait to be really there for your head. Why would I believe problems so they may go reach that level where you come on go born picking them? Now they kind of step then that would the talk say you they come to the end of the rope for some problems. You know the leave problem make it grow because when you go reach some level it will be very complicated. So we no go talk say when person go born picking you know if he come back to somebody. We no say genuine repentance it will bring about restoration. But with the talk say for some case, it may be very difficult. So no, they ever leave problem, make it grow. Because when it grow, it will become very, very difficult for some. So with the talk say, no, they ever leave problem, make it go reach some level. No, they leave and make it grow. When problem just start generate, quickly bring in the problem solving mechanism. Make the problem be solved. It, no, it just they like sick. When sick, they start for your skin. Medical personnel, they ever advise say, no take them lightly. If you just feel your head start ex more, or you feel your heart start beat more than normal, no day you for house, begin the joke you them. Quickly go seek medical advice. Put the situation under control because if it aggravate, the thing where you be thinking say no fi kill you go kill you. So solve problem quick 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 quick. Always solve problem when it day at that level between you and your spouse. Do your best very fast. May the problem be solved at that first step. No, the liver make it extend. Even with your salvation. Backsliding the way it is on level where you know feel restore. Yes. Backsliding. Jesus talked, say, if you know repent, your name will be blotted out. We mean say some backsliding the risk on level where person your name they be blotted out of the book of life. So would the talk say no leave problem make it ever go reach on level? Okay, man, read this text. It says, Good evening, Pastor. More grace. It's uh Jesleen from uh, Awinquata. I like your preaching. Wow, God bless you. I need to see you. Okay. God bless you. If you get any problem, you need the assistance, you need a counselor. God keep we here now for una. Come, we go like for get involved. May God he help. Okay. The text talk say, Good evening, Pastor. My name is Divine. I have child with a girl, and she has ignored me and taken my child to unknown destination, and her family is uh, internally displaced. None of their number is going through. So I'm confused. I don't know what to do. Thanks. 
What's that the problem start divine? It be been a wife. It be been a wife. Parents they recognize in a wife. Government recognize in a wife. God recognize and say in a wife or will be just day inside fornication. You see, now some of those kind of lapses that they make them, people that they lose control over picking them. Because if the the necessary factors that will be put in place, how man will come around with your picking? Or if they run with your picking, when necessary factors are there in place, you'll be it, it will be very possible and quick for you for, for recover your picking. So I did your advice say no they keep lapses because where you keep them, the kind of complication they will come in. However, I pray say you go come to terms with the family so that may you locate them, come to terms with them so that your feet forget fellowship with your picking. The text talks a good evening, Pastor. I have a problem in my uh, relationship and the other person does not give me the chance to apologize. What should I do? Sonita from Old Church. In your relationship, I think God will be glorified if the relationship na marriage. Sin if it be na marriage. Yes. Okay. If the person not give you chance for apologize, it means say in no the allow problem may be solved between you and he. The thing that I say, bring in two or three other godly people. May they examine the thing. If you not go, bring in the church. Take note, we did talk now about the biblical or the godly problem solving mechanism. And we did based on this one because God, he planned at the best. So now you are talking say this is your relationship. If you be in a marriage, then it be very good. You apply this uh, mechanism. We don't talk, and we believe say God go help as you apply this uh, mechanism. We get this one from uh, Sister Perpetua. He say, "What if your husband is not going to church? Church and you are a Christian, and any time that you talk to him, he doesn't hear you." <laughs> now why then would the advice say may you marry somebody who fear God so that when you talk for ye may hear you he would hear you because he fear God so but however if you find yourself in this situation bring in godly people since I will only the one hear you bring in godly people if you don't hear those godly people then then my sister he being an unbeliever God go guide you on how for do them. And some things in there, I know if you talk for you directly until me and you will fit for meet up. Because some very strong decisions them. The day where you get for make them. But you get for make them carefully. Because take note. Relationship the day so we get for account to God about. So you need for meet up a counselor. May you and you talk really get to some details before you fit for make those very serious decisions them. Okay. Because he may be that person. Donor, unbeliever, he will fit for years. Somebody, oh, so no, just act so quickly. Hello, Ella. Hello. Yes, sir. You know, sir, First Timothy chapter three, from one to ten. Mm -hmm. It's been tough for them. Say, any man we desire to be a bishop or pastor or brother or sister, mm -hmm. as a Christian. Let that person be husband or one wife because if you don't know how to manage your home, how can you manage the church? How can you lead in Jange? How can you lead other meetings where they be? Hello? Yes. Because our home is the foundation of every progress. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been making appeal to those where they will come. Any man, man any man who put any song for Gary for this program. Mm -hmm. Because now the program will help me and you. Mm -hmm. Then I want to contribute uh, towards the the answer we've been given for the maybe not second person we've been called. Mm -hmm. So I see recommend that for call people women or God for mm -hmm. church mm -hmm. for handler mm -hmm. for that area they will be very wise because some men or God they na kukusa people. No be no be all kind men or God they handle a uh, program. You have complained, then see that. Mm -hmm. So one day, if you complain for the, 
year and three years to take and even make make message for puppies. Mm -hmm. That scatter story mm -hmm. will be very dangerous for that marital issue. They should be very wise before one to complain to somebody. You know, say the person be competent. Yes. Where it is you, your secret. Because marriage is a secret. If you hurry, expose your family, you don't destroy many things. Thank you. Okay. Good uh, advice for day. Okay. We get this one and say, Good evening, man of God. My problem is my in laws. When they visit my home, they always suppress me, minimize me. As if I'm nobody. Please, Pastor, help pray for my home. Emeldin. Hello, Pastor. Yes. Hello, Ellis, welcome again. Yes, I want to ask some questions. Yes. Ask some uh -huh. If a married woman is mm -hmm. because of the carelessness, the adultery, the commerce, mm -hmm. the marriage is difficult. We will never get the divorce. Mm -hmm. Okay, I go married me. Huh? We will not still get marriage certificate. Marriage certificate, yes. I go married me. What they say, don't divorce. What they say, don't divorce me. If you go in a different country, the grandma country, so no. Mm -hmm. For for country that ever talk say, if man put uh, application pass it to make three months, if no man ever can argue, marriage go ahead, no. For example, if the woman don't divorce me, he gave us a different country. Mm -hmm. I should be like. Then I don't marry my woman now. They will say, he come back, he can't tell me, he gave me a certificate. That's a big problem. Because this is a situation where they live for Korua now. How, for will God, how does we do have the Dikana, Dikana cases? Thank you. Then, yeah. Then, you need to answer my question fine. I will say, if one partner don't, Come on, the restaurant. You just ramble and like, what can you see now? A restaurant can a man the house. We don't read because that one day we have a passion. No day. Okay, may I just answer that second question before I go back to the first one? We did, did you did restore the person firstly on genuine repentance. Then you start consider other factors. When the person genuinely repent, you will also consider the condition where they come back in. If it be say he don't contract on disease, you will get for make another decision now whether you go accept infection or how. Now some other complicated things is that. But if you agree, say yes, as he don't genuinely repent and come back with sick, say you go accept for willingly infect yourself, then when I restore the marriage, just like if he go bring back na picking them, and then you accept, say you go show that the responsibility. Then when I restore. So from that time, it depends now on how when I agree. But when I must see I'm say when I when I give for agree all over, they no go come begin the base now on the previous terms. Because the previous terms they don't be abused. So the restoration will be based now on the new agreement, genuine repentance, and new agreement on how for them cope with the challenges the way the breakup don't bring them. But we talk again, say. They kind of thing them be complicated. It's fine for even first avoid them. Not leave problem them for marriage. May they ever grow, go reach the kind of complicated levels. Okay. Then uh, your first question will you be asked and when you come back again and say, if you get married to a woman, let, yes, as you talk, a woman, he travel, leave you where you and he don't get something like a marriage certificate, he go to chop your life, where you and he never nullify the marriage certificate. Then, he won't come back where you marry. If he come back, begin to claim you again on the basis of that marriage certificate. Okay. Before God, he know if he claim you. But before the state, if it for claim you. Because God, he did look at how the person betrayed the marriage based on the natural marriage certificate. If person don't leave you, go marry a different person, the choppy life. Carry out extramarital sex. It already destroyed the marriage. So you be be free. Okay, but before the state, you know be free. The state in the look things now the way we the, the way we got the look am. So now you would talk say for that kind of case, you get for know how God the see him and how the state the see him. 
It gave for be treated differently before God. Yes, that other person be guilty of divorce. You don't break the marriage contract, you be free. But before the state, you are not free. So that one now go be handled differently. You get for go for court, follow their own procedures for nullify that document. Okay. This text talks say good evening, man of God. My problem is my in-laws. Okay, man, take the one for in-laws. This pro this is a biblical problem solving mechanism. Jesus no talks to me, you carry problem, go to in-laws. Yes. No just talk say because say somebody be a family member, it be competent for solve your problem. Now, why that way plenty marriages that is spoiled? When in-law that they come in, so they like for support their own person. Now, human beings, they just be prone to do like that. A tendency high for them for begin the support now their own parties. Except as on in-law, they, they really be Christians, you know, where they fit for overcome those natural tendencies. They then solve the problem based on the word of God. So, would the talk say, if you strictly go by way to way Jesus did talk, may in law they wait. Leave people, may they solve their problem. May people the way they know the will of God. May they understand God's the own uh, way of things. May they solve the problem. No, just jump inside people they are married because they will be in law. No, leave and may God solve the problem. May godly people come in, use the law of God, solve the problem. If at all you and in law they come in, come in with God's the own method. No, come in with yourself say you be an in-law can they talk now in-law talk no no do so so sister as you don't talk we'll be pray for you we'll put your name on our prayer request list and we're going to pray for you evangelist look on come more grace to your elbows thank you very much evangelist brother divine again he said pastor truly we were in a fornication but the family knows me by name <laughs> <laughs> they know your name now why that way they treat you the way they treat them because now only your name they know <laughs> <laughs> hey brother divine the need for know you beyond name go ask that family whether they be they be okay only with your name <laughs> <laughs> so you think say your name alone go secure your rights over your picture eh? Go ask that family. They will tell you how much, how uh, much they need for know you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one it comes from Brother Blaze from Akum. It's a good evening, Pastor. Is it right for a believer in Christ to marry an unbeliever, in the hope that he or she will one day change? Blaze from Akum. No. Change it before you marry thee. If you get for change, then make it change before you marry. I won't talk about change here. You get for no say basic areas a day where person get for change day. Basic areas a day. Why you call it unbeliever? Certainly because he no know the God way you the worship him, and he no be subject, he no be submissive to this God. This God way you the worship him, he no the lead ye. So, if you get for married, introduce your God to ye. Make it talk like Ruth. Say, your God will be my God. So, make it submit. Make it start apply the principles or the standards of this your God to your life. For basic areas like salvation. Make it be born again. Now, the first steps in that. If we accept your God, be born again according to Acts 2.38, then... Now the basic place in that you feel marry ye, then they no say other things and they they will feel then they happen. Because we no say transformation too for some level, it be very, very progressive. Okay, this other text talk say, I'm back with another question. Can an unbeliever get married to a believer? Okay, it be connected to that one while they talk. Unbeliever. Okay, the question be say can and can an un can a believer get married to an unbeliever? Yes. A believer can get married to an unbeliever. It be possible. If you bring them into your life, it will happen. So it be possible. But should a believer get married to an unbeliever? No. A believer not supposed to get married to an unbeliever. Because they're not going to be compatible. One person go to go left, the other one they go right. Hello? Okay. You see... 
said we did it, but that's marriage, you know me so? Now so good talk. Yeah, if I get contract now, I give a book for so work now, I have to go on for for Nigeria or for Gabon. Well, I get it, so 10 years with you for work, I want to have the benefit of the family. I know good work because uh, I give a show to satisfy my sexuality. Good question. If you go for fine money, one come back, Satan can't bring in different man made to satisfy the woman. No can begin to cry for God. Because now you bring in the Satan. The Bible tells we for First Corinthians chapter 7. It says many people they not deprive each other of sex. For scare away Satan. Pa Bright, welcome. Hello, Pastor. Evening. Thank you, sir. Uh, like as uh, you talk with, I hear some man call talk say, if you bring an uh, unbeliever, me come, me, me the be, unbeliever and believer, if you marry. Like it, normally, as uh, normally, if you bring some unbeliever, he come, he will want, he will want, he will want, he will want, for me, like, see, he don't believe just because he wants to succeed to get you. Mm-hmm. But when he don't get ready to get you, he go, he go, he go away for a normal way. Uh-huh. Yes, so that's in your being that say, before you want to go into that, you really need to know the detail and you go into prayer serious. Correct. Right. Correct. You put that kind of TV work. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Salam, madam. Yeah, bye. Okay, our brother NSB asked question say, if you see job opportunity for faraway country, you feel leave your spouse, go to work money. They may your spouse they, they they struggle with the sexual needs. If you be person where you want for keep your marriage, leave that work, stay, keep your marriage. Or if you like money, pass your marriage. Go begin find the money. Only say if you want come back. Different person don't take over. Or that place where you two you go. If you go, different person to take over. When you want for pray to God, they repent and repent. Because now you don't allow Satan for come in. And I don't read 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I don't quote 1 Corinthians chapter 7. It talks about it. Pay attention to the sexual needs of your spouse in order to keep the devil away. In order to keep the devil away. Because when somebody it be sexually needy, the devil they come now in. If you don't get self-control, you go lose that person. Now so Bible talk. If that person don't get self-control, and we know they tempt the Lord our God, you know feel the come on go you for one year, two years, talk for your spouse, say make you get self-control. Or you too, you begin talk, say you'll get self-control. They need to tempt the Lord. You need to tempt your spouse. So, which one it be important? The marriage. Or they walk. Choose ye this day which one to keep. The marriage or the job, the money. Hello, Elder Kenneth. Well, oh God, thank you for your answer. <laughs> we thank God, sir. I want to support you to contribute. You know, the Bible says, What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Mm-hmm. That no man. It means no man for human being, may no put asunder money, work, Correct. distance. We get for value marry, pass money. Mm-hmm. Yes, you know, we might say you don't marry, you bear you Dubai, they make business. Your, your wife there for, for Cameroon. You get for value marriage. Mm-hmm. It means something where God will it. Yes. So, for me, I the to say, Either you withdraw, you come back from Cameroon, or you tell your woman go to Dubai. Yes. Because if you don't do so, automatically you will not do. You they put yourself into temptation, I they put that wife into temptation. Not Thank so. you. Not so. And I think you go good more also advise people say, for example, if you be woman, be contented. Maybe your husband, you and he date together. He did make 40,000 every month when I did manage. No push, he say make it four bush like your neighbor wait on four bush. They send money to your wife. No push it because if you push it, it go fall for temptation. You go talk, say you be ready to send that man, may go find a which kind of money. You the woman, you like na money or you like na that man. You like na that marriage or you like na money. You see? 
So now you were our lesson yesterday be to talk about contentment in marriage. You get for be contented. All man no must get money the same. You see? When you go for anything, maybe the one way you go permit your marriage for day intact. Hello? Hello. My brother Julius. Oh, my brother, welcome. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. We the program. We thank God, sir. Yeah. I just want to talk to you, Pastor. Those are true messages like this, counseling like this, where they come up from glorious life. Where they make a now with the understand uh, some so called pastors, uh, they're not to give you the right things. Mm -hmm. They're not to give you the right counseling, especially mm -hmm. as marriage be concerned. Mm -hmm. Because, like, uh, you be rightly talk, say, some false pastors that they talk, say, once married, forever married. Mm -hmm. Whether way to happen. So now through this kind of messages where they come up for glorious life where we don't be see say the baby that one be being a force. The force. Yes. So which way I want to talk here and I say wait say through those false uh teachers and prophets, because today people that they believe in a prophet, they don't look whether you be grounded with the word of God, they follow now a prophecy. Mm-hmm. Who then day today where the marital problem get the, the marital life get problem only because they are every day on prophecy, prophecy. Mm -hmm. They not they they not they like take them through the word of God. They know the purpose of marriage and how to handle them. Yes. So because of this kind uh, false teaching, I know a sister way. Maybe uh, maybe don't that is a sister way. Don't be a prostitute. Mm. So now when we see this brother, I like this brother. And then now, the, if you don't just be closer to the brother, time can reach the brother proposed for this woman. Mm -hmm. So now, in their courtship, you know, say from your teaching, the way you expose the Bible and the courtship way you used to bring her out, not with the kind of courtship way we know in those days or in the world, mm -hmm. or according to these false uh, preachers. Mm -hmm. So in their courtship, in the show, now say, this brother has been bring us some things that we know like I'm from a woman. Mm -hmm. And some of the things we've been at, uh, if it be say, you know, be like a woman where you're already born mm -hmm. before marriage. Mm -hmm. So now this sister, if you're already in that prostitution, if you don't born and mm -hmm. if you don't get some sick. Mm -hmm. So now since this sister ain't no say, according to this false teaching, where it be say, once married, forever married, mm -hmm. even miss this brother. It will can so I know can get opportunity for get a, a good uh, a husband mm -hmm. or a good brother like that. Mm -hmm. So now he high plenty things. He tell the brother say as I say so. He never ever know him man the king. He be so the virgin. Hey. This and that. I mean. So that brother now he believe that sister. So he be show now say the sister he be make up his mind say when he go married now when he go expose all things according to now according to Bible to the sister. He knows if once married and forever married. Hmm. So now I just thank God say along the line, this brother, all those things will be exposed because the brother will be a prayerful brother. Yes. They can't be exposed. Good. Yes. So now we want to ask my I just want to ask question that say if it be can happen, say the brother married this sister. We you know no we this sister be don't fool we say all these things if they so it been a virgin. It can't discover say the sister be don't be a prostitute and it maybe it get uh, sick. And then they get a, a, a picking them for outside. Yes. How it could handle that that problem? Because according to the the, the, the teach we say, when you don't marry, that means in an order, you know, if you divorce. <laughs> and you, I know if the chop chop way, I know like I'm, I will just divorce myself for chop up. Thank you, Pastor. <laughs> Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I go suspend the particular question. But I go talk, say, this one, now they kind of think then this way people get for consider them very well. Because when some people, they, they teach some kind of things them, they, they give room for manipulation. They, they give room for people for be ungodly, begin to treat their, that is, treat other human beings like, say, because they feel, say, when they don't put a rope for your neck, it cannot be loosened. <laughs> My brother, I'm going to suspend that particular place. We'll go handle them in the subsequent lesson. Thank you very much for the question. The text message talk say, 
Good evening, Pastor. Please, Pastor, pray for me, for I'm spiritually weak. And I have decided to go on one month fast. The program is very interesting. More grace, Pastor. Irene. God bless you, Sister Irene. God bless you. Your prayer request be gotten. This one come from Sister Elsa. I say, good evening. If a man has children and is not married to that woman, but with another, will the first woman trouble the current one? What do you have to say about bad in-laws and bad traditions when it has to do with marriage? Pastor, put more light on the dangers of calm will stay. Calm will stay. Now that kind of people where they sign contract before they start look at the terms. See, you take letter for right arm, you first sign them, then you start right. Government won't give you contract, you go sign the contract before you start look at the terms of the contract. Now so calm will stay there. And it be dangerous because when you don't sign them, it means say you don't talk, say you don't agree. How you do a great thing where you never sign up? Now why that way can we stay the ever they hang for people their neck like bone? Wait for, for, for solve problems inside, it will be very difficult. The people, they will just come together like accident. You know how we went motor, they don't miss road, they don't miss control for road, they just jam. Some people, they can't stay just there like accident. Where people, they just collide anyhow. They have to say they just miss their road then. So, can will stay, you know, fine. But however, if you day inside, can will stay. Then, when I don't burn picking them, and then when I agree for rework the foundation of the marriage, the two of Una, when I agree for rework the foundation of the marriage so that when I feel continue, it be very good. We know plenty of people the way they come together as can will stay. But at some point, they realize their errors. They admit and say, no, our coming together, no be day the way way it be supposed for day. They say, no. Let us really go back to the drawing board and set the foundation right. They go back, set them, agree. Everything start work well. Okay. I did read this last text message. It said, what happens if you were unbelievers before you got married and one happens to know Christ later and the other is stubborn to receive Christ? Felix at City Chemis. 1 Corinthians 7. It deal with this one. If we be married as unbelievers, then they can one person in no God. The first solution, where Bible Gamna say, no run. Try for fix the marriage. Try for fix the other person with good fashion and godliness. Yes, try for fix them. But if you did try for fix them, you know they go. Apostle Paul, he give answer inside that one. Say, if the unbelieving, it depart, then you be free. Or if you be pleased for dwell with the unbeliever, dwell with ye. But if it be stubborn and then ungodliness come in, if you come into the level where you are in of it day, then what it go happen? If biblical grounds for divorce, they know you go divorce. It, it go happen. Evangelist Emma talks a good evening, pastor, and more grace. What a blessing to be a listener of this radio program. God bless you, Pastor. Evangelist, may God bless you and family. Okay. Today, we don't talk now about the biblical or the godly problem-solving mechanism in marriage. The biblical or the godly problem-solving mechanism in marriage. Where to be the mechanism? When two people in marriage they get problem. Jesus be talk say, make the two of them shut down down. They solve the problem. The two of them, may they not publicize the problem. May they shut down. Use biblical principles for solve the problem. Principles such as respecting one another, admitting you're wrong when you be wrong, apologize, talk sorry, respect each other ye you right as a human being. Then the more respect each other, you right as a child of God. Wuna all be picking there for God. Jesus he pay a great price for both of Una. 
when they run the Christian race to heaven, may we not feel for each other. No hurt each other if you don't wrong each other as the two of one the dialogue. Admit your wrong. Yes, admit your wrong. If the problem be solved at that level, oh, it be very good. Now wait that way God want them. May problem be solved between two people. Yes. But if for any reason Wuna be unable for solve the problem between the two of Wuna, may Wuna find godly people then. May Wuna add two or three witnesses for solve the problem. And we don't talk through this program, say, the two or three witnesses they give for being a godly people. Because Bible 1, we say, more no, take the counsel of the ungodly. May we not involve sinners in our problem-solving uh, uh, procedures. May we not involve sinners. Because the counsel of sinners, it will land you into more problems. And Bible talks, say, in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So, if two or three witnesses, they come in, in a walk, bring in the church. Because the church, it be the custodian of the word of God. It be the family of God. They go come in with godly interest. They go come in with love for the two of Una. They go bring in the doctrine of marriage. They go bring in every factor. We go help that marriage make it work. And Jesus talks, say, if the problem be solved at that level, oh, what a good thing. Because reconciliation don't take place, the people, they be united, God be honored, and as so, the, the married people, they go enjoy the marriage. But if you reach that level for church, you know, walk, as Jesus talk. Now for the way things, they go scatter, oh, because Jesus talks, say, for that level, where the law of God no work. Ha. Satan now if he come in. Anything fi happen. Because they start consider people them unbelievers. They start consider someone they say na publicans. We mean say na people the way they know they fear God. So, but with prayer, it don't be na say, may the problem be solved at the first step between the two of Una. May be solved for day. If he gave a worry, when you reach at the level of the whole church, may be soft for day. May not pass that level. Now we'll pray at that. May not pass that level. Okay. We want for pray now. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. You are the author of marriage. And you are the repairer of marriage. So Papa, we thank you for the wisdom that has come from your word. To equip your people for problem solving. Lord we say receive all the glory. There are many who have died because of marital problems. There are children whose lives have been destroyed because of marital problems. Most of us listening to these programs tonight, oh God, we are in deep marital problems. We thank you that this wisdom has met us. Delivering us from marital problems. Giving us the equipment with which to solve these problems. We thank you, O oh God, that your word and your spirit are at work now. Bringing about deliverance. Equipping young unmarried people for godly and successful marriages. Papa, we say thank you for what you have done and what you are yet to do. We give you all the glory because we see a wonderful community of Successful people in godly marriages. We pray for those who did not listen to this program. And for those that listened, Lord, but still have to meet counselors. Papa, we pray that they will meet the right counselors. Whoever has to be involved in marital problem solving. Papa, we pray that they will come in with divine wisdom led by the Holy Ghost. They will come in with the right motives and help married people to succeed. Papa, we give you all the glory. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen.